Matt, I spoke to a local tattoo artist about properly taking care of your tattoo, and he tells me incidents where people die aren't very common, but they can be avoided if people follow artists' instructions. Thousands of people across the country are getting inked up every day as their body is used as a canvas to tell their life story. Every story is different. I think that's, for me personally, that's one of the funnest things. Um, I've heard so many stories. But those stories might not have a happy ending if people don't take care of their tattoos in the weeks following getting inked up. New tattoos should not be submerged under water, avoid direct sunlight, and don't use scented lotions. Failing to keep the tattoo clean could lead to infections and maybe even death. A tattoo is an open wound and you want to treat it accordingly. So becoming a germaphobe, uh, germaphobe becoming uh, a clean freak, if you will, just make sure you're keeping it clean and keeping it protected is, is really the main key to it. New tattoos should be covered and cleaned on a regular basis for the first two to three weeks. And local artists say for the most part, people take care of their tattoos, but there are a few who take the risk when it comes to their new ink. And it's disappointing to hear when someone gets an infection or dies from a new tattoo. It's frustrating. Um, you, you want everybody to, to enjoy their tattoos. And that's the thing is these are life-changing tattoos. I mean, you're getting a memorial tattoo or something for your grandfather or whatever. You know, these are things that are supposed to be a good experience. Now, the tattoo industry is not regulated in Idaho, meaning anyone can open a tattoo shop without safety standards. However, the owner of Madding Studio, who, who you saw in that story, makes sure all of his artists have a blood-borne pathogen, pathogen certificate. The certificate proves they know about the dangers of blood pathogens and safety measures to prevent them from spreading.